Hi guys, it's Mary from Glimpse and Beyond. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about dealing with 3D while we're in 4D going to 5D. Oh, it's crazy. Timelines. All right. I hope you guys have known and I hope you felt it. We've been jumping timelines all over the place. You're mostly doing it when you're asleep, but sometimes we do it during the day. You usually know because you'll get wicked deja vu. Or you'll just be somewhere and kind of totally forget why you're there. Or you could be walking along and you know people and they just don't see you. It's super interesting. Um, what's been interesting for me on a personal note is having a chronic illness. <laughs> with my airway shutting, like, and I'm healing it myself because you know me in hospitals. No. But they're putting me in such a position with jumping all these timelines that I have no idea where I am half the time. One day I'll be just fine. I don't even need cough drops and I'm fine and everything's working. And then I wake up and I'm like, holy crap, I'm going to need to go in and have it scarred more by them doing more surgery. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. But it's also my freaking airway and I have to breathe. And I'm like, but is that dichotomy and that constant unknowing of like where we're going to land, even though I know where we're landing and I have faith. So that's what gets me through. Like I, I know where I'm going. Okay. It still doesn't make it easy every day. It's like you guys, you have decisions that you need to make or that you want to make like, Hey, do you want to move? Should your kids apply to college? Um, should they make a big career choice decision? Should they like maybe heck even join the military or something like that? Like those are huge decisions that play out so different on every different timeline. And now that we know about it, it's super hard. The best thing I can do is tell you to really, really, really sit with everything, meditate, pray. They're yelling at me. They're like, always pray. I'm like, they know. Always pray. Always pray. Journal the answers you get and kind of look at them a little bit over time because they might change. Literally, that's how quick things are moving, you guys. All right. If you're on a day and like, um, God, I'll, I'll have to use me as an example because I don't have anybody else right now. If I'm having a day and I'm literally gasping for my last breath, am I going to have Hun call the ambulance? God, I don't know. Wow. Picked a great example, huh? All right. Let's say yes. All right. Then I got to be fully aware of what I'm signing up for. All right, because now it's not really the time to do that. <laughs> so you have to take responsibility for the decisions that you make in 3D world. <laughs> the, the ripple effect that's going to happen in 4D and 5D. Or do I wake up gasping for air knowing that somehow or another I'm going to get through it because I always have. And then we can hang on, hang on, maybe do a little less. And hang on until the med beds get here or until I'm suddenly, they keep telling me activated, but I'm not sure that's the right word, but I think they mean like the DNA is somehow getting upgraded even as we sleep. <sighs> and with me, it's very different. Well, I suppose it could be with you guys too, but with me, it's very different because of what I do and who I am. They like to stifle me a lot anyways in the throat area and it's just like, holy crap. So it's always three or four things and I'm sure it is for you guys too. Like literally it could be like, how much extra stuff do we need? Like food wise, gas wise, 
stuff like that, practical things. I, I would have to say have enough for at least a month or two. Okay, remember no fear. No fear, you guys. We don't we don't buy into that timeline. Nope. We are gonna be just fine. We don't worry about it because we know we've already won. Alright? Don't worry about it. If you get into a situation where you are worried about it, pray. Everything is gonna be just fine, you guys. I promise. It's gonna get um super confusing. <laughs> They're telling me, like, like, you should see my head. Kind of like the Rubik's, Rubik's Cube of confusion, they say. Like, we might be to the point at the end of all this where we want to pick the stickers off and just put them, like, in order. Oh, okay. Don't believe everything. Be discerning. Take what resonates. All right? Um... As far as finances, get money out. My suggestion, I'm not a financial advisor. You might want to read some articles. Maybe have enough there for a month or two if you can. All right. I think that's coming sooner than most people think. And every card I've ever pulled keeps saying that. And it's super hard, you guys. Even for any psychics or tarot card readers or card readers of any kind. Because they're kind of going to give you the answer that you want. Not the real answer because they're never going to tell us. You will never know the date or the time that any of this is happening. It's divine timing, a divine plan. Just know you guys, we've got this. We've already won. You just got to kind of balance a couple timelines right now, okay? If you're dealing with people in 3D, kind of go down to 3D and help them. Do the 3D stuff, like grocery shop, selecting school clothes, <laughs> you know, like 3D stuff. Just go ahead and meet them where they're at. Always vibe up right after you're done with that. Like put yourself right back up there, like resonate higher because we need you higher. All right. All right, you guys, we got this. We've already won. I love you. Hit like, share, subscribe.